Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many users have encountered. Our viewer has been trying to fetch historical data from Yahoo Finance using a specific URL, but since May 16, 2017, it hasn't been working. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. If you're having trouble with the Yahoo Finance historical data downloader URL, it's likely because the URL has changed. Let's take a look at the new URL format. The new URL requires specific parameters, including a session cookie known as crumb. This is essential for fetching the data programmatically. To retrieve the crumb cookie programmatically in Java, you can use the HTTP URL connection class to make a request to the Yahoo Finance site and extract the cookie from the response. After obtaining the crumb, you can use it in your new URL to fetch the historical data. Make sure to include it in your requests. In summary, check the new Yahoo Finance URL format, extract the crumb cookie using Java, and include it in your requests to successfully download historical data. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If, if you're having trouble with the Yahoo Finance historical data downloader, you can manually save the crumb and cookie pair in Chrome. Alternatively, you can use a tool from GitHub to generate it. Once you have the crumb and cookie, Set the cookie header in your Java code and include the crumb in the URL. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble with the Yahoo Finance historical data downloader, there's a lightweight script available that combines various suggestions to help fix the issue. For a more robust solution, check out the Fix Yahoo Finance repository, which offers better alternatives. I hope these resources assist you in resolving the downloader issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble with the Yahoo Finance historical data downloader, here's a solution using Excel and VBA. The main challenge is creating a crumb and cookie pair, which you can reuse for fetching historical prices. Here's a key code snippet to obtain the crumb and cookie. This routine sends a request to Yahoo and extracts the necessary information. For a practical example, check out the Yahoo Historical Price Extract on my website, 
where you can find a sample Excel workbook demonstrating how to extract historical prices. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user named Andrea provided a solution for downloading historical data for multiple stocks. The code is written in Python 2.7. The first file, down.py, reads stock tickers from a CSV file and executes a command to download their historical data. The second file, ticker.csv, contains the stock tickers like APL and MSFT. Lastly, the getquotehistory.py file is used to fetch the historical data for each ticker. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.